Uh, uh, please, please read it for me, Musa. Oh, sorry. John 16, 4. Mm -hmm. Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. Mm -hmm. Ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. One more time. Hitherto have ye asked nothing in my name. Mm -hmm. Ask, and ye shall receive, that your joy may be full. Now, this verse doesn't make sense unless you understand what the Lord Jesus is saying. The Lord Jesus is saying, until now you have not asked me anything. But if you look at Jesus being with the apostles, the apostles asked him for a lot of things. They said, we want to go where you will be. We want to do this. Can we have this? Show us this. But Jesus is saying, until now, you have not asked me anything. Ask that your joy may be what? Full. According to God, if your prayer is to bring you happiness, you have still not asked anything. Amen. Prayer must fulfill something called joy, not happiness. Mm. Anything you pray for that is only targeting happiness, relief, is still not prayer. Because remember, a man can be, can be poor and still have joy. Because joy is not happiness. Happiness is circumstantial. Joy is eternal. Amen. Happiness is external. Joy is internal. Amen. And everything that is internal is what? Eternal. Amen. So you need to ask yourself, when I come before God, when I pray, what kind of prayer am I praying and what am I pursuing? Am I pursuing happiness or am I pursuing joy? What is my prayer? What is my target? Is it simply to get happiness? Or is the target joy? Amen. When your family is saved, that doesn't only bring happiness, it brings great joy. Amen. There is rejoicing in heaven. Yes. When, when, when people come to salvation, when the miracle brings salvation, when the financial breakthrough brings salvation, now you have entered into the realm of what? Joy. When people are delivered from demonic oppression and all these manner of things, you are bringing joy, not just happiness. Because you can be happy about a car. When the new model comes out, you'll be tired of it. You're ready for something else to make you happy. But joy doesn't expire. That is why the Bible says the, the joy of the Lord is what? It doesn't say the happiness of the Lord is my strength. Only joy can be strength in times of trouble. When God sends a word to you, it invokes what? Joy. Listen to this. Ask me for the nations. Read it for me. Psalms 2 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance mm -hmm. and the uttermost parts of the earth for thy possession. Mm -hmm. Thou shalt break them with a rod of iron. Thou shalt dash them in pieces like a potter's vessel. One more time. Start again. Read it again. Psalms 2 and 8. Uh -huh. Ask of me and I shall give thee the heathen for thine inheritance. Notice God is saying, ask me and I will give you the heathen for your inheritance. What is God saying? God is not talking about slaves. He's talking about the people who never believed. I will make them believers and they will serve with you. What are you asking God for? You see, when your pursuit begins to be about souls, even your own matter starts being taken care of. Many a times our biggest failure is we want what is for us. We don't think about others. God comes to Solomon and he says, Solomon, what do you want? Solomon says, Lord, I want to lead your great people with wisdom and understanding. I want to judge them rightly. I want to lead them that your destiny for them will come to pass, that what you have destined for them, they will receive it. That is what I want. God said, you didn't ask me for your enemies' heads. You didn't ask me for silver or gold. You didn't ask me for long life. Because you did not ask me for these things, I will give you the wisdom and the understanding and everything else you are not asking, I will give you. You see, when you become about righteousness, everything is added. The reason why you're asking for a new car, for a new house, for a new this, is you're not after righteousness. When you possess righteousness, everything else is added. Amen. Is this making sense? 
Uh, online, can you hear me? I want you, I want you to respond to me. Can you refresh the, the, the YouTube for me? Can you refresh it for me? So that is the pursuit of God. The pursuit of God is, are you after joy? Or are you after carnal things? Are you after righteousness? Or are you after a false form of righteousness? If you can be genuine in this, and God will give you everything. Amen. Lift your right hand to heaven. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus. 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 Give me the desire for righteousness. Give me the desire for righteousness. Give me the desire to be a kingdom builder. Give me the hunger to rescue souls. I want to be about your business. As your son Jesus walked on earth, everything about him was about you and your kingdom. Father, I want the same hunger. Father, I want the same thirst. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Radaba shanda da ba hadi ba hazokoto rene me saturi yabasata rebe debe shaki da ba hazuka radaba da ba da ba shanda da ba haya ridondo robo sati ba haya rede be 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 rimando robo shika da ba haya rede be suta radonde rebe hezuka radaba shante rebe haya rako soto rimando robo shaka da ba ira mande rebe shata. Rada ba 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 shikata ba rene me sata rimando robo shikata ba haze rede be 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 shikata ba haya ramande rebe hazuka rade ba shikata ba haya rando robo sete ribando robo shaka rebaso ribande rebe be 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 shikata ba haya rado shadiba azo mando bo 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 shikate ba haza. Reko setebe, rimando robo shadi bahaze, riko tolobo shika, mandere bebe bebe su, ruta la masika, radi bahazuke tebe haya, randa bahazika tarabahe, rimando robo shika ta, raba sentere behezo, reba da bahaze kata bahaya, rimandere be suka, remendere be hazuka parete hede, rimando Jose. Riba dalaba shata la bahaya, riba dorobo shikata la baheze. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' name. Now hear me. I want you to pray this prayer. Now understand this before I give you the prayer point. It is impossible to pursue God thing, godly things without purity. And without purity, you cannot achieve holiness. And holiness is not what you do, is what is bestowed upon you based on your hunger for purity. When you begin to hunger to be pure, when you begin to hunger to pursue purity, then God can bestow holiness on you. Amen. There is no way to holiness except through Jesus. Amen. And any attempt to make yourself pure is filthy rags. Because our own self-righteousness can't help us. The only thing that brings us close to God is surrender to what Jesus has done on the cross. You see, many times people say, don't do this, that sin, don't do this and that sin. Even though it is true, stopping it doesn't make you sinless. It doesn't. Because that means you have purified yourself. The act of sin is bad. But stopping it does not exempt you from sin still. You're still a sinner. Yes. Because the only way to purity is surrender to the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. And through the help of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit purifies you, reforms you. Then you don't abstain from sin. The desire to sin leaves you. Yes. Yes. As long as the desire for sin is there, you're still a sinner. Amen. When you are delivered from sin, whereby pornography can be before you, uh, uh, nakedness can be before you uh, uh, temptation can be before you and you're not moved by it yes. now you're free from sin it means the Holy Spirit has done a work in you so as long as abstaining is not bad but that doesn't make you holy it doesn't even make you righteous nope 
You see, the Lord Jesus was tempted, but he never succumbed to it because he was not moved by what he was offered. If you are moved by it, then your heart has already sinned, even though your actions haven't followed. So whenever you pray for God to purify you, you are telling God to restore you to factory reset. Start me anew. Because something that has been purified, it means it has not been defiled. If there was defilement, it has been taken away. That is where iniquity is. Iniquity is defilement. Notice God always forgives us of our sin and our iniquity. Iniquity is the stain of sin. Satan was found with iniquity. Before he even sinned, iniquity was found in you. And after that you sinned and I kicked you out of heaven. So you see, iniquity is dangerous. You may stop doing things physically, but you're impure. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand to heaven. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus, today I surrender to you. you. By the precious blood of Jesus, Jesus, you have given me a way to purity. purity. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, Jesus, may I be purified. May I be sanctified be sanctified from every stain of sin, sin. from every stain of shortcomings. shortcomings. May that root that makes me to fall, fall. Father, may it be removed from me. Father, may it be removed from me. And may I start afresh with you. In the mighty name of Jesus, lift up your voice and begin to pray. Purity Lord, purity Lord, purity Lord, sanctify us, purify us, purify our minds, purify our hearts, purify our thoughts, purify everything that has to do with us, sanctify us, purify us, sanctify us, purify us, sanctify us, purify us, sanctify us, purify us. Sanctify us, purify us in the name of Jesus, 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 sanctify us, Lord, purify us, Lord, sanctify us, Lord, purify us, Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus. Zakadabahaya, Bahaya, 
Reba ba 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 shikata la bahaya. Zakada ba 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 shikada bahaya. Zekada bahaya bakata. Reba ba 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 shanda la bahaya. Ribando robo shikata bahaya. Zekede bahaya. Reba da ba shinda la bahaya kata. Reba ba 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 sende rebe bahaya ka. Ribanda la bahaya kada bahaza kata. Reba ba 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 shinda la bahaya ka. Reba ba 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 shanda la bahaya. Rebo sande rebe bahaya kata. Reba sanda la bahaya kata. Riba shoto lobo hida bahaze. Rimando robo shika. Raba shande rebe be 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 be. Zakada bahanda la bashanda la bahaya. Reba ba 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 sikata la bahaya. Reba ndoro bo shate la bahaya. Reba na la bashanda la bara ba shata. Rika dosha. Zakota la basanta. Riba shende le be hezuka. Ratosha kete. Kete le meste eke le mesuta. Ragonste evrani ma hazekete. Riba shonte. La raba shanda raba haya bakasata. Reba ba 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 shande rebe haya. Rada ba shanda raba hara ba shakata. Riba ndoro bo shikata ba haya. Raba ba 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 sikte. Rema ndoro bo shata. Rako sate. Riba shonto ro bo sika. Raba santa raba hayeka. Zika go ba sata. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today I'm joined by a, a great general, a mentor, and, a, and I call him Baba Bernard because he's, he's a, a father in the prophetic. Amen. He, he's a man that spiritually has assisted me in ways that only God knows. Oh, amen. Amen. And uh, he came to visit me. He was in America preaching. I said, can I snatch a few, one or two days for you to come and see me and spend time? We haven't seen each other in a while. And I want him to be a blessing to us because I want him to pray with us. Amen. Hallelujah. If, if his prayer has the capacity to impact me, it has the capacity to impact you. Amen. Hallelujah. So, I am, I am going to give him, a, give him a, an opportunity to lead us in prayers of what your need is. Before we pray for all the the letters that I hear of people we need to pray for, those who are watching at home. Whatever your desire is, this is your opportunity to bring it before God. And as the Holy Spirit leads him, he's going to guide us in a prayer and then we'll get to praying uh, for everything else. Daddy Bernard, please. Amen. 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 Stretch your hands towards me. In Luke 18, verse 1, Jesus spoke a parable. Mm -hmm. And he said that man ought to pray mm -hmm. and not faint. Mm -hmm. You cannot pray and faint. Amen. So prayer is the strength of the believer. Amen. Genesis 19, 27, the Bible declares, And Abraham got up early in the morning to the place where he stood and met God. Mm. So there is always a spiritual standing when you engage the altar of prayer. Mm -hmm. Genesis 28, mm. we see mm -hmm. how Isaac sent Jacob mm -hmm. unto his uncle called Laban. Mm -hmm. And Jacob encountered God and he prayed unto God and said, Lord, in this journey, as I move, if you are with me and you provide all my needs, then I will come back to honor this place. So prayer is a spiritual asset. Somebody say prayer is a spiritual asset. Prayer is a spiritual asset. Every time the child of God prays, strength is released Amen. and heaven is opened. Amen. 
Everyone was being baptized, but Jesus was the only one praying. Yes. And the heavens opened. Amen. I want us to lift up our voices tonight and to those watching across the nations of the world that whatsoever your heart desire under this anointing, God is going to activate results. Amen. There is an awesome presence of God all over this place. Angels have been activated. Heaven is open over you tonight. I want you to pray from the depths of your spirit. I want you to begin to place your petition before God. Yes, Lord. And ask God tonight, let there be a 24-hour release. I don't, I don't think the people mm. online. Hear me. Hear me. I want Mando you to type 24-hour release. Type it online. Type it online. 24-hour release. Type it 24-hour release. 24-hour release. 24-hour release. Let me let me see people typing it. Declare 24-hour release. Amen. Continue, prophet. Continue. Prophet, as I stood there, the Lord inspired a word in my heart. Yes. There are many people who have sought the face of God. Yes. You have petitioned the horns of the altar. Mm. You have been at the pool of Bethesda for years, mm. for months, for weeks, mm -hmm. asking God, when will there be a manifestation mm. of the prophetic word hey. that I received? Hey. Well, I have good news for you. I stand here as God's oracle. Mm. The Lord said that which your heart desire has been released now. Now we are going to pray in our one scripture. Job is speaking in Job 22, verse 28 to 30. Mm -hmm. He said, Thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be made established. Mm -hmm. But I love the verse number 29. He said, When men are cast down, mm -hmm. you shall say there is a lifting up. Mm -hmm. God shall save the humble person. He shall deliver the island of the innocent. Mm -hmm. You are going to decree that no matter what is happening around me, I receive covenant exemption. A supernatural manifestation is coming now. God is turning around my life right now. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. Declare it, let there be a release right now. Declare it. Declare it. Let there be a release right now. Hey! Shabaka Tony Antaya. Rupa Padia Kennedy the Higher. Zay Shabante the Avalia. Santo Cobaya. Ray Bandia. Colia de Kea. Zubadiete. Zante the Afaya. Ado Cabante the Avalia. Zeki. Son Tania Pariata, Reba Shakata, Reba Shakata, Reba Shakata, 
With a clad of release of miracles, signs and wonders. Hey, hey, hey,
in Jesus name hallelujah hallelujah I believe prophet something has happened there's a shift there is a shift I want everyone that is watching from home and those who are here I want you to stretch your hands over the prayer requests of those who are at home these have been sent from everywhere in the world and uh, for all those who are still sending uh, um, let us don't stop sending them we are always praying for them we always shift them the ones we pray for a certain week we put them away and bring in new ones mm. so we are consistently praying for you yes, so Lord. don't stop sending your letters I'll say it again don't stop sending your letters it is a way for God to touch you it is like you being present in this place Jesus so um, I, I want you to go uh, uh, that the information of how to send letters is up right now uh, uh, all your prayer requests the address to send it to is right there don't stop sending your prayer requests as the prophet has said if men would pray they would never faint mm. sometimes your strength is not enough but the place ordained mm. if you can connect you can draw strength mm. yeah. hallelujah so I want us to stretch our hands all of us we are going to pray for the letters that are here yes Lord that the Lord will do something prophet will whichever God leads you to touch yes Lord. and I want us to just lift our voice and we are all going to pray corporately prophet you can you can go ahead as God leads you as we lay hands as God speaks to you hallelujah stand around for you if you believe something has stand around for you and you're online type number one 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 listen to me I believe thank you Jesus I believe the testimonies you're going to see this coming week will shock you Remember again tomorrow is prophetic service you do not want to miss it it will be extremely powerful it will be tremendous and i believe god will bless you father i pray for everyone that is watching at home we thank you for all that we have received today even through your servant 
through uh, our, our pastor and apostle uh, uh, Goshen and also uh, Baba Benat Taylor, as he has prayed for us, Father, we have received a new thing that you have deposited in us. Father, be glorified even now and eternally. Thank you for all those who have given. May you multiply them. May their baskets never run dry. Father, we thank you until we see each other tomorrow. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Listen, I love you. Jesus loves you more. I'll see you tomorrow. Daddy Bernard, thank you for being here. You have been a blessing. Please clap for the prophet. We'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Amen.